Mathayahu, Matthew, chapter 18. At that time, the taught ones came to Yahusha, saying, Who then is the greatest in the reign of the heavens? And Yahusha called the little child to him, set him in their midst, and said, Truly I say to you, unless you turn and become as little children, you shall by no means enter into the reign of the heavens. Whoever then humbles himself as this little child is the greatest in the reign of the heavens. And whoever receives one little child like this in my name receives me. But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to stumble, it is better for him that a millstone be hung around his neck and that he be drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world because of stumbling blocks. For it is necessary that stumbling blocks come, but woe to that man by whom the stumbling block comes. And if your hand or foot causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away from you. It is better for you to enter into life lame or crippled, rather than having two hands or two feet to be thrown into the everlasting fire. And if your eye causes you to stumble, pluck it out and throw it away from you. It is better for you to enter into life with one eye, rather than having two eyes to be thrown into the fire of Gehinnom. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that in the heavens their messengers always see the face of my Father who is in the heavens. For the son of Adam has come to save what was lost. What do you think? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, would he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountains, going to seek the one that is straying? And if he should find it, truly I say to you, he rejoices more over that sheep than over the ninety-nine that did not go astray. Thus it is not the desire of your Father who is in the heavens that one of these little ones should be lost. And if your brother sins against you, go and convict him between you and him alone. If he hears you, you have gained your brother. But if he does not hear, take with you one or two more, that by the mouth of two or three witnesses every word might be established. And if he refuses to hear them, say to the assembly. And if he refuses even to hear the assembly, let him be to you like the nations and a tax collector. Truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be having been bound in heaven, and whatever you loosen on earth shall be having been loosened in heaven. Again I say to you, that if two of you agree on earth concerning any matter that they ask, it shall be done for them by my Father in the heavens. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in their midst. Then Kaf came to him and said, Master, how often shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? Up to seven times? Yehusha said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to seventy times seven. Because of this, the reign of the heavens is like a certain man, a sovereign who wished to settle accounts with his servants. And when he had begun to settle, one was brought to him who owed him ten thousand talents. But as he was unable to pay, his master commanded that he be sold, with his wife and children, and all that he had, and payment to be made. Then the servant fell down before him, saying, Master, have patience with me, and I shall pay you all. And the master of that servant was moved with compassion, released him, and forgave him the debt. And that servant went out and found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. And he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me what you owe. Then his fellow servant fell down at his feet and begged him, saying, Have patience with me, and I shall pay you all. But he would not, and went and threw him into prison till he should pay the debt. And when his fellow servants saw what had been done, they were deeply grieved, and came and reported to their master all that had taken place. Then his master called him and said to him, Wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt, seeing you begged me. Should you not also have had compassion on your fellow servant? as I also had compassion on you. And his master was wroth, and delivered him to the torturers until he should pay all that was due to him. So also my heavenly Father shall do to you, if each of you from his heart does not forgive his brother his trespasses.